So right now, the, every dollar of revenue from Exelixis is coming from Cabo's AtMed, which will be going generic one way or the other. One of the ways, Parth, to get to get out there, get your name out there in biotech, is to talk about biotech stocks on Twitter. I know a guy who did that, and I ended up hiring him, and he's had, I think, a pretty good career um, since then. So if you make a lot of noise, you know, then up and show off your work, if your work's any good, people will uh, will come back. Uh, I think building a company is a lot better for, for building wealth, uh, but it's all dependent on your style. I mean, if you like to uh, trade, then maybe trading's better. You could do German Merck, Grifols, which is an interesting Spanish company, basically the only big Spanish biopharmaceutical company. We can look at uh, Isai, which is a Japanese biopharma. Let's look at... Uh, Maybe we should look at Exelixis or Acadia. Maybe a more exciting stock like Ascendus. All right, let me do Exelixis. This is an old stock, but I've been around this stock a long time. Oh, I have to, I have all the financial series stuff on my uh, old desktop. Let me see if I can get this camera, camera guy. Can you, can you come over here for a second? All right. I'm going to show these people in an attempt to get it to, uh, there it is, try to get it uh, working again. I have this thermal paste. That's old Alienware, correct? Antilia, uh, I think, is a double. I mean, I think it's a nitpicking question. I think it's worth 90 today. That's my stock, my lock. Stock of the day, Martin Shkreli. He's a bit of a genius. I really enjoy his product. Nine ninety nine, you get a free stock pick. Uh, I highly endorse this man, and I'm going to pardon him too. Stock of the day, Martin Shkreli. He's a bit of a genius. I really enjoy his product. Nine ninety nine, you get a free stock pick. Uh, I highly endorse this man, and I'm going to pardon him too. I don't have a stock of the day or anything like that. This is all for free. Free ninety nine. So Exelixis, the story here is basically they have one product and it's going to go generic soon. How they're going to get out of that, I don't know. Usually companies have a hard time doing that because you have one hit product and it's just hard to find a second one, right? In biotech especially. And some companies can make that transition, but most can't because it's not easy to just find great new products. They don't just grow on trees, you know? They do seem to have a significant balance sheet here. You can sign up for my OnlyFans, and you can also buy the book I made with ChatGPT. So there are plenty of ways to support this company. Their 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 pills are look at their their markup. Their gross profit is like ninety percent. It's like a twenty times markup. It's crazy. Okay, so Exelixis, like I said, they have a product called Cabomedics, right? That's their main product. Yeah, so Cabo is in trouble, right? This this is their virtually their only product. All of their revenue comes from this one drug, and there's an Indian company that's trying to uh, make a generic. Those Indian companies are vicious. They will not give up until your revenue is zero. And that's why we don't need Bernie Sanders or AOC or any government regulation or Democrats in general, because the free market ensures the drug price gets as low as possible. Uh, this this uh, Shkreli kid, he, he he really does know what he's talking about. Um, different political party uh, from me, from president, but uh, he he actually does make some sense. Uh, uh, I think he's right about the free market. Uh, I don't really care if uh, people get on my case for that because I'm not president anymore. Uh, this this all Shkreli kid, he. He really does know what he's talking about, but uh, it actually does make some sense. Uh, I think he's right about the free market. I don't really care if uh, people get on my case for that because I'm not president anymore. I can do a better Obama impression, but I get confused sometimes. You have to start off in your mind with, thank you, thank you, this famous uh, thank you thing. Then you have to shift to his like stop start cadence where he's like, well, Michelle, she told me, you know, that, that thing, but then the timbre has to be right too, which isn't easy. Michelle, <coughs> Michelle, she said, why are you hanging out with that Shkreli kid? 
Pause for laughter. He's, uh, he's interesting, I said. She said, well, what's so interesting about him? He did five years in prison. <laughs> I tell you, Michelle can really get on my nerves sometimes. So ex elixis is in this race against time, against generics, right? And in a lot of ways, every drug company is in that race against time. Anytime you have a patent that's expiring, which in pharma, every company does, you're in a race against time to sort of replace, replace that revenue that you're going to lose. Oh, this is Q4. Tissue factor ADC might be interesting. CDK7, I'm not so sure. Well, they got a little bit of a pipeline. I just don't know what the quality is, right? Got uh, eight drugs in the pipeline here. But the problem is the Cabomedics asset is probably not worth too much. I don't really think the Biden can do very much to insulin prices. Unless he can take control of Eli Lilly. Insulin's pretty cheap as it is. So right now, every dollar of revenue from Exolixis is coming from Cabozatinib, which will be going generic one way or the other. Uh, I guess they could settle with their with the generic company, but this is interesting. I'm not sure I'd pay, let's say Cabo's worth another two billion. So the enterprise value, net of cash and net of the value of Cabo would be two billion. Would you pay two billion for this pipeline if this was just an independent biotech company? Probably not. I still haven't even looked at it, so I shouldn't talk, but I think this is just another TKI. Tissue factor. Is that Genmab tissue factor drug approved? Am I thinking of the right one? Yeah. Okay, so I guess, you know, that's a validated mechanism. TivDAC. So... I don't know how they can still enroll patients against Sutent in RCC. Kind of pathetic. This is just a topo inhibitor, Exotecan. That's not very exciting. But I guess they're, they're kind of def desperate. SERP Alpha is, uh, could be an interesting target. Topo Isomerase. All right, so what are these biologics? Yeah, I, I, the problem is, you know, it's not a great short because you still have that cash as a buffer and you have the uh, Cabo as a buffer. And if anything goes right with that litigation, which I doubt, uh, then you got some upside and you got the pipeline as a bit above a buffer too. Definitely not a short. Ah, this is interesting. The earliest a generic could be approved is 2026. So they'll be able to milk this for all 23, all 24, all 25, half of 26. Not bad. Not bad at all. This could actually be long. I've always hated this company for some reason. Okay, really interesting situation brewing at Ex Elixis. Could be one to look at for a potential long. I'd like to get confidence in one of these assets. I don't think they can move Cabo to Zanza, which sounds like is what they're going to try to do. One of these drugs could be worth something, but it's kind of like this deep value play. You can't lose money on it, probably, but 
I'm not sure you can make money either, so it's a tricky one. We looked at uh, Exelixis, which um, has a patent expiry coming up, um, but it actually looks like the valuation there may support um, a potential long thesis, believe it or not. Um, you know, again, I've had this like weird bias against this company for a long time. Um, and I think that's really it. Um, thanks for watching and catch you tomorrow or later tonight.